this past year to, to sign him to this extension, and now you've got to deal with that contract through twenty twenty uh, through twenty twenty seven. I, I still love him as a player. When he's under control, his version of under control. Oh and I God. still think they have flexibility to make moves. I really do. But it's such a fine line and winning cures all or it's the ultimate deodorant, right? It goes from, wow, Draymond's a guy that you need on your team. You need that disruptor. You need a little bit of sandpaper. You need an agitator that's going to provoke the other team. When you're winning, that stuff is endearing. When you're not, you're, we're looking at it like, why can't you stay on the court? This is a, a, a pattern of behavior that hasn't worked out for you this season. And same, you know, Evan, you look at the Patriots, like when Bill Belichick is winning his do your job, no nonsense type of mentality that's seen as a positive. Everybody falls in line with the Patriot Patriot way when they're not. It's has he lost his touch? Is this type of messaging still something that's viable with this modern athlete? You know, it winning shifts how we view everything. And Draymond is no exception to that. Yeah, but I guess my point is, when is Adam Silver in the NBA had enough? Well, like that, that, that's thought the, that they did. That, that's the point. Like that's after the, the Rudy Gobert headlock, right? But that, that's the thing. Not not just any kind of headlock. This he put him in a chokehold. Yeah. Uh, I mean, who knows what could have happened if Gobert tried to actually get out of it? It could have been a lot worse. It could have escalated. Now, thank goodness there was somebody that had a relatively cool head during that altercation. But they suspended him five games. You would think he would learn his lesson and be on his best behavior. And then this dude hits Yusef Nurkic in the head. And he says, well, I know what my intentions were. I don't think there's any room for interpretation when you look at the play, whether or not Draymond intended to hit him. He hit him square in the head. I, I, I can't argue that. The one thing I will say is if you put Draymond Green on a really good team, he still can be a really good contributor. But what about, what about, the, sa- what about the safety and well-being of the other NBA players? Oh, because those guys matter. Right. But if I, I, mean, him- I mean, it's, it's two things, right? So we're talking about it from the Golden State Warriors perspective, but we also have to talk about it big picture because it is an entertainment product. Well, then This is not good for business. CeCe, he may have crossed the line where now he's at a point. Is it, is it a may have crossed the line or no, no, he did saying, cross the I'm line? I'm saying relative to Silver because you brought up Adam Silver, the commissioner yeah. of the league. He may have crossed the line relative to every time something like this happens, automatic suspension for more periods of time than anyone else would be suspended for. That he They they basically discourage his actions to such an extent that every time you have a, oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that, it's five games, right? Which is a significant period of time like he already served this year. All right, people want to jump he in. He slapped on, the player in the head. Yeah, no, it's not okay. I'm not defending him. What I'm defending is the, what he's done in his career. He has had an amazing career winning basketball games and he's had an amazing career of, I can't believe you did that, right? I mean, that both are part of his resume long term. 888 say ESPN, 888-729-3776 on the Dr. Pepper call in line. We're going to get your phone calls in on Draymond. Would you still want him on your team? And the empty pharmacy, the empty restaurant, why won't they take you? Plus, Zion Williamson responds to his critics. We'll get to that coming up. It's unsportsman. Three-point game can be interesting with those two teams, but the more interesting interesting thing is, once again, Draymond Green got ejected, had a little tussle there with uh, Yusef Nurkic of the Phoenix Suns, and Green, post-game, yet again, ejected on why he got ejected. He was pulling my hip, and I was swinging away to sell the call. Made contact with him. Um, as you know, I'm not one to apologize for things I meant to do, but I do apologize to you, sir, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. Uh, I sell calls with my arms. I don't fall or to sell a call. I don't, I'm not a flopper. So I was just selling the call because he was grabbing me and pulling my hip back. So I spun away, and unfortunately, I hit him. And so, like I said, I apologize to you, Seth, um, because I didn't intend to hit him. All right, so he's confirming he's a flailer, but not a flopper, in essence. Come on, Draymond. We got too many instances where you're flailing all over the place trying to sell a call. You are a flopper. I mean, they didn't give you an Academy Award as much <laughs> as you be trying to sell some of these files, man. Like, just stop yourself. I just, I don't understand why this dude has zero impulse control. It makes no sense. Well, it's his third ejection of the season, which is tied for most in a season in NBA history, by the way. we wow. For him to come out and have this excuse and apologize, we know who you are, Draymond. When somebody shows you who they are, believe them. You're not going to ever get the benefit of the doubt in situations like this because we have a complete body of work of you doing exact things like this, including several times this season. Would you guys want him on your team? Because I love him. I've defended him every which way. 
it, it feels like when you're on a team that is on the decline and you have him, I have a harder argument to make. I'm not writing the Warriors off. I know many people are. I understand why many people are. They are not earning the right this season alone to believe in them. But would you want them on your team moving forward? Oh, no, you're not writing the Warriors off. You think this Warriors team can win a championship? I think as long as they're alive in the playoffs, I'm never going to write them off. Same thing with the Chiefs. They're, to me, they're the Chiefs. And, and by the way, Chiefs are likely not going to win it all this year. And the Warriors are way more likely not going to win it all this year in the NBA. Like, But I just have that past history. I've seen it so many times that I'm always going to believe in them. Would you want him on Yeah, your but you've never seen this version of Klay Thompson where he's been in a slump for this long. We no, haven't seen that. Have not. Draymond Green can't stay on the court because he can't control his emotions. That I've seen, unfortunately. Uh, exactly. So, there, I mean, we're, we still wait on the promise of Kaminga and Moody and all those young guys that they keep trying to sell us on. Has anybody seen Andrew Wiggins? Do we need to put out an APB for him, put him on a milk carton? Because he hasn't been the same guy since they won a championship a few years ago. This team is done. Like I, I've seen enough. This team is done. I, 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 I hate to see it all crumble around Steph Curry because he's such a singular talent, and he's one of my favorite players across all sports to watch. But this team ain't winning the title. This team is not contending in the West. It ain't going to happen for them. And the sad part about it is a guy that they depend on to be their heartbeat, to be the cornerstone of their defense, and to be their enforcer to protect all of those scorers they have in Steph Curry and Klay Thompson and others – he can't stay on the court. The contract extension that they gave Draymond this offseason, what was it, four years, $100 million? Mm-hmm. It's starting to smell like regret. Kind of like that that shot of tequila when they do last call. Oh. It, it's, reg- it's regret. So you mean the ugly lights yeah, are on? Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> this is not going to end well for the Warriors. And as a matter of fact, this is something that they're going to be tied to for the foreseeable future. The reality was that after they won the championship, it was over. There's a reason why Bob Myers stepped away. The timing of it, it just seems it seems fortuitous for him, and I'll say it that way. But the writing has been on the wall. This team has gotten old, and the guys that they were depending on to replenish the ranks, the younger players, have not evolved into guys. Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh YouTube của mình. Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện sống làm việc được nằm trong cuốn sách đạo làm con thì xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình hôm nay mình sẽ review cho các bạn câu chuyện theo nguyên tắc được làm được uh, nằm trong cuốn sách đạo làm con mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện
Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Việc dù nhỏ vẫn tự làm được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Và ngày hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Tự tiện làm được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Chào mừng các bạn đã đến với kênh youtube của mình Hôm nay mình sẽ review câu chuyện Vật dù nhỏ không tự lấy được nằm trong cuốn sách Đạo làm con Mình xin mời các bạn cùng mình lắng nghe câu chuyện Vâng Vâng Cái gì vậy? Vâng 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 Vâng